Hey guys, I have a treat. So this morning, it was so cool out, picked my corn, because it didn't get very big, and it was all starting to die back anyway, and I would like sweet corn. So I have a couple of things I'm going to show you guys before I do anything else in this video, and part of it has to do with pollination, and the other is this corn is actually really cool. I haven't opened very many up, but I wanted to open these up and show you. I opened this one up to show you guys. See, it has lots, it has pretty color in it, like I said, but you see here where there's these aren't pollinated, obviously, and then these were are immature, so they were not pollinated very well. So that's probably something to do with either the corn itself just doesn't pollinate well, and I'll have to maybe shake it next time or the fact that it could be po it was pollinated by the one piece of feed corn that my son Wyatt planted but pollination issues is something to be concerned about we can still eat this I can take all of this off the cob but I just wanted to show you guys like it's it is pretty and we'll open the other one and this one still has some pollination issues also not as bad I just wanted to show you guys the colors really and um, there's some slight insect damage I don't see any in the corn husks or anything but that's all if you get corn and it looks like this then it had some pollination issues that's all it is the color is pretty I still plan on buying this corn again to grow next year because I really think it is it's gorgeous just those little pieces I'll just have to make a note in my notebook that I need to try and hand pollinate these a little bit maybe shake it a little now what I'm going to do today is I'm gonna finish weeding my garden I started yesterday when there was, it was cloudy and kind of cool out <laughs> Well, that didn't last any time at all. But today, it rained. So I'm going to start on the furthest bed that always has the worst weeds growing in it. We'll get going from there. I'm lazy and I took the weed eater to this entire patch where I cut out all of that bok choy I'll turn it around and show you guys I think I'm gonna get some feed sacks and lay down on top of it for now let it kill that grass out and uh, then I don't really have to worry about it too much but I am gonna weed around the tomatoes I don't know how good you guys can see it but I weed eated it down because it was just pulling up too many roots so I'm gonna put some feed sacks down on that and kill out all that grass. Sorry, I didn't film most of it, but this <laughs> is what all came out of that spot. One whole wagon load. I'm gonna go dump it out in the pasture. And Sorry about that, guys. Um, but I was gonna show you, I'm gonna go ahead and peel all this corn, because I'm gonna go ahead and cook all of it tonight, because there's not very many. But, look at this. You cannot tell me that's not awesome. Look at that. That is beautiful. This is the kind of corn that was on the picture. I'm definitely getting more.
Okay, so pretty much what I'm seeing in all of this is there is some issues like down here where it didn't get pollinated real well. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to make sure have to make sure I shake them when they start to their little anthers come out on the top. But overall, I'm not disappointed. This is the first year I've ever grown sweet corn here. And it is amazing and so beautiful. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And it is a sweet corn. It's not a dent corn or flint corn. That is gorgeous. So it's actually the next day. The meal looked great. The corn, not so much. It was gorgeous, but grilling it was not the option that I think it needed. I think it would be better as a canned sweet corn, personally. But that's okay. We always have another year to try, and I'm probably going to buy a bushel of corn to can, and I will take you guys through that process also. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for all that you do. Always share with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It helps us out a lot. Hit the thumbs up because, you know, it's always a good thing. Thank you guys for all that you do. We'll see you soon. God bless.